and um, the charity that I started is called the Rogan Rouge Foundation. Um, but I also do a lot of independent work as a facilitator and a speaker, helping communities create a sense of connection and unify them to um, create change. I started to experience the onset of my challenges at probably 12 or 13, but because, you know, we're going back 12 years ago, mental health wasn't talked about nearly as much as it is today even, even though I still think we've got a long way to go. I wasn't, I didn't understand the symptoms that were really evident. You know, I, I felt confused as to what an anxiety attack was, and yet I was having one pretty much every day. And feelings of, um, yeah, lethargy and lack of concentration, which were clear indicators that I was, I was struggling with depression. And because no one was openly discussing um, or having that conversation, it made it not only really difficult for me to um, talk about it, but I didn't even have a language for it. From the outside, everything looked amazing, and yet I felt like every day this shadow sort of grew and grew the more that I didn't talk about it. And I think that that's an experience that so many people can relate to. You know, what, what are the, um, the things that we lock away that we feel like we either don't know how to talk about or we feel afraid that people are going to judge us or see us differently if we do talk about them. At 14 I left school, a mainstream school, to go to a performance academy. Undeniably one of the best experiences of my life but I didn't understand how to deal with that pressure and with that came a certain level of comparison and, and a lack of understanding how to manage my own stress and self-talk and sense of self and all of these things uh, I now know are skills that, that can be taught. We can teach them to, to anyone, but especially young people. And it is so, what happened to me or what I went through could have easily been prevented. And it was, it was simply because there wasn't access to having these conversations. I was diagnosed with anorexia when I was 16. But I had the symptoms of the eating disorder for years before my official diagnosis. And what I experienced was, was people only being able to talk to the illness and it's like it was one of the most dehumanizing times of my life because I was still in there you know my greatest brightest self was still there somewhere but every interaction I had with people they could only see the the illness and it it separated me more and more 